Hi everyone, welcome to my beginner's tutorial for computer assembly video. These are some basic tips to help get you started. They're mainly things not to do. Um, a big thing you want to be careful of is static electricity. Static electricity can fry parts in your computer if you have any on your hands, so you want to make sure you discharge that. The easiest way to do that is to touch the case of your computer, which is usually metal. Um, what I'm doing right here is installing my DVD drive. As you just saw, I moved that um, tab over and that holds it in place. Now I'm installing the front panel of my computer, which the bottom part of it slides into the computer and as you can see those tabs right there click over the side to hold it into place. The uh, third thing I'm installing is my hard drive which is in a cage and as you see right here I just clicked in the place on the uh, computer case itself and now I'm uh, screwing it in it's held in by two screws uh, generally every computer will have a different way of holding the hard drive the different cases uh, everything in a case is usually laid out differently from another case so nothing's ever going to be exactly the same um, the hard drive is where all the information on your computer is stored so it's a very important part of your computer the uh, next thing that I'm installing is my power supply which you see right here you install that by clicking it in place and then screwing it into place there's four screws for this power supply on mine um, sometimes power supplies can also be at the bottom although it's, uh, the most usual thing is for them to be at the top as you see in the video the cords if you can see are bundled up and that's to make it neater improve airflow through your case and keep it so you can see more move some more stuff around but that's something you do after you have your computer assembled and you know which power cables you're gonna need mine are like that now so that everybody can see in my case without little wires sticking out everywhere um, the power supply is another really important part of your computer and it's pretty self-explanatory what it does it provides power to all your cards your motherboard your uh, DVD drive your hard drive to everything and this this piece right here is your motherboard um, you see me sliding the back end into place first and then dropping the front end down make sure all your wires are out of the way and then lower it down there are holes cut in the back of your computer case and there are pieces on your motherboard you want to line up those holes and the pieces and uh, slide it back and then all your screw holes should line up and you just screw it in. I've been fast forwarding through here because there are I think 10 screws and it took me a couple minutes to get them all screwed in um, you want to use a long handled screwdriver usually um, if you can find one with a weak magnetic tip that would help because sometimes it's hard to pick the screws up of some of the places they'll fall on your motherboard if they fall off of your screwdriver so this helps um, the motherboard has all of your circuits on it has your card slots for things such as your video card your network cards and everything and it also holds your CPU which is what I'm installing right here your CPU or your central processing unit is basically what controls everything in your computer it's basically the brains of your computer this is what performs all the actions all the calculations and everything in your computer to install this you have to be very gentle it has a bunch of pins on the bottom and if they get bent it'll mess them up you just lower it into place on its slot and as you see here I click that little metal bar down that holds your CPU into place this here is a CPU fan um, all of these installed differently mine you have to slide one end of a metal bar over uh, a notch and then slide the other end over it and then move a switch and it holds it down it's kinda complicated to explain um, but not really once you see it uh, sometimes they're hard to get down because they aren't sitting just right they have to be sitting just right on your CPU um, in between your CPU and your cooling unit which is the big gray thing you saw 
you want to have some sort of thermal paste to help uh, reduce the heat and it's usually very messy so you're gonna have to wash your hands and here I'm plugging my fan power cord into a um, socket on my motherboard generally most of the sockets on your motherboard are going to be color coded I went ahead and plugged that one in and now I am uh, placing my RAM into the slots um, your RAM only goes into the slot one way so don't be worried about that and you just slide it in and push it down until it clicks your RAM is uh, your random access, random access memory which uh, allows you to do a lot of the things that allows you to process more information in your computer um, it's pretty simple to install your RAM there's those the slots are generally in the same place on every motherboard and you make sure it clicks and then you're done installing the RAM the next thing I'm doing is I'm going to be installing the uh, um, SATA cables from my hard drive to my motherboard there's a slot on the back of your hard drive you can either have IDE or SATA cables IDE are wider these are SATA cables um, they're newer uh, you slide it into the uh, slot on the back of your hard drive and then for your hard drive you want to put it in the number one priority slot on your motherboard because your hard drive is supposed to go in the priority one slot and your DVD drive is generally in the priority two or three slot now I'm installing the SATA drive from the SATA cable from my DVD drive to my motherboard in the number three slot and now I'm gonna start plugging in connectors onto my motherboard these you can usually tell by the number of pins a thing has uh, where exactly it goes those are, are for my USB ports on the front of my computer my card readers my power button generally they're color coded so it makes it a little bit easier but if you're unsure get out the instructions for your motherboard and look where each thing goes specifically um, some plugs are also they're about half the pins that are on an actual thing in your motherboard so they just go on the top portion of that um, connector on your motherboard I've got a few of those in here but you can't really see exactly what I'm doing um, I had a hard time with the connections because my hands are so big so if you have large hands you might have trouble getting all your connections done um, but generally it's pretty simple it's just time consuming because you have to find out what goes where and figure out how to get your hands in there to uh, plug it in so those are all my card readers and my USB ports and now I'm plugging in the main fan for my computer onto a uh, power connector this fan is one of the uh, main things to help keeps the inside of your computer cool without this your computer will overheat and some of your parts will get broken they'll get too hot and they'll uh, break um, right now I'm plugging a power cable from my power supply into my DVD drive these are pretty simple you can usually tell by the shape of the plug on your um, uh, device in your computer which plug from your power supply goes into it I'm plugging in the one for my hard drive now the one for the uh, DVD drive and the hard drive look exactly the same so it doesn't matter which cable you use and here I'm plugging in the main power connection for my motherboard usually plugging in all the cords to your motherboard is one of the things that's gonna take the longest when you're assembling your computer just because there's so many of them and you have to figure out where they go um, the best thing to do though if you're a beginner with um, putting together computers is to get out the directions for the uh, motherboard and the power supply if you need it right here I'm installing a uh, internet card I don't use this internet card anymore but I leave it in my computer um, for that one you just slide it into the slot and it it doesn't have a uh, latch 
so it just slides in. This is my video card, and as you can see, it's quite large, so sometimes I have trouble getting it uh, around the cables in my computer. Um, you slide this one into a slot also. The slot for the video card is bigger than the uh, slot for the internet card, and that one does click into place. Your video card will click into place. Make sure that latch clicks. Here I'm putting on the back piece of uh, my computer that holds my cards into place. It's just one screw. There I was pushing down the cables to make sure they're out of the way. And here I'm sliding on the back of my computer. It just slides on and then you screw it in. And those are the basics of how to assemble a computer.